this uh, this is a, as I mentioned a vast contribution you know by uh, uh, reducing the our dependence on coal it's um, uh, it, it can be translated in billions of tons of uh, reduction in carbon emission and uh, uh, in our uh, new endeavor to achieve carbon peak and neutrality uh, this is going to further happen and uh, uh, so China will make further contribution through the process uh, and um, uh, in the meantime you know how I we personally witness how China managed to do that you know over the past 10 years and uh, by cutting our dependence on coal China mm -hmm. has uh, um, uh, scrapped a uh, 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 large volume of uh, coal fire uh, uh, plant and boilers and uh, those inefficient ones have been phased out mm -hmm. and in, in a city like Beijing you know uh, Beijing have phased out uh, have completely eliminated uh, all the coal uh, power fire coal fire power plant and uh, actually Beijing has just won a, 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 an award for that uh, uh, it has been announced today uh, for uh, for doing this. Uh, so this is going to be very very uh, helpful. And uh, uh, in the meantime, you know, China not just uh, you know as uh, Mr. So had mentioned, China decided to stop investing um, uh, overseas investment uh, mm -hmm. on uh, coal power plants. Uh, that will be helpful. But in the meantime, China is trying to export more of uh, of this uh, green solutions uh, like uh, renewable energies instead you know on the china is the largest uh, the world not just that we have the largest uh, capacity uh, on the uh, solar and uh, wind and all biomass mm -hmm. all largest hydropower mm -hmm. uh, but in the meantime china is also uh, the global major supplier of all this uh, uh, equipment uh, mm -hmm. uh, solar panels, wind turbines, and now renewable, mm -hmm. uh, you know, new, uh, new energy vehicles. Uh, mm -hmm. China not just have the largest right. fleet in the mm -hmm. world, but China has also um, started to, uh, to, be a, to become a major manufacturer. And mm -hmm. now just over the past recent months, uh, China has, has begun to export a lot more of that. Right, but to the, the winter is coming. And uh, not only in terms of uh, season, but also in terms of geopolitics indeed. Uh, Europe is going through a very difficult energy crisis and many countries have returned to coal. So what is the point of China still sticking to green development? Yeah, this whole global climate action is facing strong headwind. As you said, winter is it's coming, coming. Mm -hmm. you know, with the, uh, with the, with the, with a lingering, you know, impact from COVID, and then uh, energy uh, shortage uh, to in some areas uh, uh, energy crisis, and then uh, and then the rising geopolitical tension, the war in Europe, you know, all this have uh, have made most of the major economies in the world to pay unprecedented attention to uh, to energy security, food security, and the securities of uh, of the industrial supply chain. As a result, you know, all many try to rush to uh, as an emergency response to return to coal, and um, uh, including you know in our country, uh, uh, in China, uh, in this party Congress, uh, it's also been made clear that uh, we w we must ensure the energy security, and um, so coal will be. Uh, you know, we, we, we have to do it, uh, you know, build the, build the new mechanism before we discard the old. Mm -hmm. It means that uh, coal will uh, continue to be used in a cleaner and, um, and higher, effi more efficient way. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, you know, uh, we understand that uh, eventually, you know, the end game, you know, the mid to long term, mm -hmm. uh, we must phase out um, uh, this much. Uh, and uh, so in the meantime, vast um, uh, investment on renewable energy. All those plans have been made to build uh, renewable energy bases in the, in the vast northwestern mm -hmm. part, of, uh, part of China and along the coast and the offshore mm -hmm. uh, wind and offshore even solar, you know, have been, um, uh, have been planned. And uh, so as President Xi made it clear, this is something that, uh, that, that we must do. 
not someone you know we want us to mm, you know right. made it require made us to do mm. uh, yeah voluntarily we have to do it uh, because mm. first and foremost we are going to face the pressing uh, climate challenge mm. and um, and and China is the second largest economy and the largest uh, current greenhouse gas emitter we understand our uh, global uh, global duty on this mm. uh, so that's why you know President Xi made that uh, carbon peak and neutrality uh, commitment. Uh, so, uh, so this is something that also, you know, uh, uh, meet with people's aspiration for a beautiful China, for a beautiful environment. Right. Uh, if we want higher quality right. uh, in, of environment, air, water, and soil, and coastal sea, we need to transform. We need total transformation of energy and transportation and uh, and also industri industrial process. Mm -hmm. And with that, we we cannot do that uh, without pursuing the green development, uh, without setting the target for carbon peak and neutrality. All right.